quickly and get some music going in the background and get my chat up and readable. I am definitely live even if I can't see myself live. There we go. I see it now. I've got to do my pop out chat and we'll deal with putting that in the right spot in a second. Put on some Vampire Survivors soundtrack. And I'm going to do my social posts quickly. Say we're going live. And I think we're pretty good. And I've got to put this in. Corner here. I think we're pretty good to go. Even if I'm a little drowned in yellow from from the <laughs> the title screen for this being one solid block color that is not a great match for my complexion. How is everyone doing today? I've got a one of those daytime live streams I occasionally do when there is a video game conference of some kind happening. Uh, today's is all about indie stuff and I am excited to see what triple I is in the triple A of the indie space the the big budget indies have been working on the uh, the the big the big name indies the triple I's hey angry internet cat hey NH London uh, I love learning about random video game showcases through Laura twitch notifications um yeah this this got announced a little while back um this is being put together by, like, as I understand it, the the studios behind a lot of the big name indie games, particularly like the big name roguelikes, like your Slay the Spire, your Dead Cells, your Vampire Survivors, all that lot of developers are like, let's put on an indie showcase. Um, and say nobody says triple I question mark. Yeah, I think it's like, you know how, you know, the big budget big budget games call themselves triple A. Well, this is the indie, the big budget indies, the triple I. Are you for indie? Uh, Cyborg Girl says, hi, Laura. I hate the concept of triple I, but I'm at work, so I'm tuning in. Yeah, look, it, I, I didn't realize that. I didn't twig until literally I was looking at this screen today that I realized like, oh, that's what they mean by triple I is like, oh, we're the big, we're the big, the big end of the indie space. And I'm like, it feels a little pres it annoys me the same way that when triple A's talk about themselves as triple A, it's like, it, that's, that's a, th it feels a little presumptuous or pretentious to, to label yourself with it, but I, <laughs> sorry, uh, apparently the, the premiere has begun, let me get rid of the vampire survivors, uh, background music quickly, so like, I, I'm not sure on the branding, but I, I think they branded it in a very memorable way. Um, yeah. Uh, Cyborg Girl says, There's increasingly a schism between professional, very commercial indie games and scrappy little independent games, adult games. Like, indies become a really unmanageably broad term. Yeah, I agree. Because, like, you know, I think Dave the Diver is last year's big example of a thing that, like, everyone thinks of as indie, but it was made by a pretty fucking big publisher and development team but had quote-unquote indie sensibilities um and i feel like that's probably what they're trying to do here is they're like look we know we're big but we know we're not in that strata we we i think they're trying to identify where they fit and create a label but it is a label that puts them at the top a little but Regardless of that, I am excited to see some indie games, and, you know, it is... I'm excited to see new games. It is what it is. Incompetent Hero says, this gives it gives off calling ourselves a double-A studio vibes. Honestly, kinda. Um, they should have gone in full, uh, full in with quadruple-I and beat triple-A to it. Honestly, quadruple-I would have been less pretentious. It would have seemed like, oh, this is meant to be a joke. Um, we need a term for indie games that are basically not indie games. Yeah, I think that's what they were trying to do here. Um, 
And again, I think that's what like mid mid tier games used to be. It's the it's not a triple A game. It's not like a one person passion project. It's that nebulous middle ground. Hey, Artisynth. So like, I don't think the the showcase itself is actually starting for like ten minutes. I don't know what's about to happen now, but okay, it's literally just a um uh just a countdown. Uh, it says, the fact none of the trailers you are about to see have leaked is a mystery to us, especially the last one. I- I don't think that's true. I'm pretty sure there was a- I'm pretty sure one of their things has leaked. Not the trailer necessarily, but what it is. Um, I'll say this. I- I don't- I won't spoil it. It sure seems like one of the- one of the- the studios, I believe if I remember it, it's the studio behind Dead Cells, has gotten their hands on a big- like a big publisher IP to make a game with. Um, the Dev Cells folks might be making a game using a, lice a, a a property that people have heard of to make a thing. In the beginning, the showcase god said, open the show with a banger, close with a banger, book of showcases, Genesis 1-1. I'm glad they're having fun with this, at least. Triple um, I is just Triple A in Australia, Triple I. <laughs> Hey, Casey. We're, we're triple I, indeed. How how you, how you doing, Casey? You, you, you're good since we spoke like an hour ago. Uh, I vote that fake indie games just get called uh, Cindy games? It, what what, is, what does Cindy games stand for, uh, Saint Nobody? I'm curious. Um, Incompetent Hero says, Was that not announced? I swore that was. I know the IP you're talking about. I'm pretty sure that's not been officially announced. I'm pretty sure that was... A leak a few days ago. I don't think that's a thing we're supposed to know is happening. Um, Dead Cells folks have another upcoming game they've announced. Do they have the bandwidth for two games at once? Um, ah, fuck it. I might as well say. Uh, I didn't think. I thought this was leaked from today. I didn't think this was an announcement that already happened. But maybe it's already happened. Is that apparently they're making? Uh, fuck Ubisoft. But apparently Dead Cells, the Dead Cells folks are making a Prince of Persia roguelike. I think that's the thing. I'm pretty sure that was meant to be an announcement for this, but people in the chat seem to think it was officially talked about. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, who who we mean when we talk about the Dead so Cells folks is a whole other question in and of itself indeed. Um, oh, see, uh, it stands for absolutely nothing. It sounds like indie, but it just isn't. Ah, uh, I see. <sighs> some some money went into the presentation on this. Some some. It's weird to see a a conference like this that clearly had enough extra time to spare to 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 fuck around a bit and not be like, in my experience, uh, putting one of these together where it is like, oh god, it's basically the day of the showcase and it's all still coming together at the last minute. The first traces of the what is and isn't indie debate were found carved in a grandiorite steel uh, found in Egypt near Rosetta in 1799. Cindy games are indie games in a blazer. Um, I support leaning into 2D Metroidvania genre. Prince of Persia needed a fresh feel, and it feels like a callback to the very the original game, which I played on Windows 98 as a small child. Look, my problems with like. Ubisoft management not addressing problems of toxicity and harassment within the workplace um, aside. I I agree. I think I think having Prince of Persia largely move back to being a 2D side-scrolling series, or at least having 2D side-scrolling entries, is f to its benefit. Um, much like the Metroid series, I think not just throwing away the 2D because you worked out how to make 3D ones is healthier for the long-term health of a series. Um... What's the name of this highly anticipated Metroidvania with an insect again? It looks cool. Am I going to be correct on my prediction that this is where fucking Hollow Knight Silksong resurfaces? Because they sure seem like they're playing with fire. If they're not trying to hint at we've got we've got Hollow Knight Silksong as our closer, uh, they're playing with fire. <laughs> 
Um, Saint Nobody, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember off the top of my head. I read this, I read this like two weeks ago and I don't remember the specifics. I'll see if I can find who's supposedly working on it. Um, because yeah, I was saying, I was saying this the other week when like, um, Xbox finally updated the, um, their, the, like the age rating stuff and things on, on their back end. I was like, I don't... My, my gut instinct that night was it's not going to be a Nintendo Direct, it's not going to be an Xbox thing, it's going to be, and it's shadow dropping right now, in the Triple I showcase. I'm I'm willing to die on that hill, but I, I think if there's anywhere that fucking Hollow Knight Silk Song shows up this year, I think the most fucking hilarious place would be it didn't... After like three years of every single Nintendo Direct, Xbox Star, uh, pre Presents, PlayStation Direct, going, is this the one, is this the one, is this the one? I would fucking love it if Silk Song showed up in the indie thing. Uh, yeah, I think, I think you might be right. I think it's Evil Empire making the Prince of Persia thing. Motion Twin making the new IP. Um... Uh, Incompetent Hero, the Commander Keen reboot came up in discussion on Pogquisition today, weirdly enough. Um, uh, slim chance that... Uh, the, uh, do, do, do. No, R Rocker, at this point, um, Silk Song will come out. It's been rated by multiple ratings boards, which essentially means it's feature complete. Like, if it hadn't been ESRB rated, you know, maybe we could play around in the space of, like, ooh, maybe it never comes out. It's like, yeah, I don't know if I can name a video game that has ever made it to the point of ESRB rating but not released. I'm sure it has happened. I've, I'm not aware of an instance of it. Um. Oh, yeah, there was a mobile Commander Keen reboot, and it wasn't great. It was... Wasn't that the same year? It was shown off at the Xbox conference the same year they had the Gears of War um, pop... Um, pop final... Uh, Funko Pop? The, the the Gears of War Funko Pop video game, I think, was the same year as the Commander Keen reboot. Um... A meteorite could hit Team Cherry HQ. I would just... My understanding of game dev would suggest if that happened, someone probably has a copy of the game outside of that one building. It's probably backed up in at least one other physical location at, at the point that it's, it's ready for certification and whatnot. Um, I know the Vampire Survivor devs are here. I don't know if, if they... I assume they might have something to announce, but I don't know that for a fact. Um, I'm curious, if Vampire Survivors does show up with some update today, I'm really curious if any of the stuff in the trailer is stuff... will end up being stuff that I saw in Director's Cut at that preview event last year where everyone accused me of lying or inventing a fake... DLC or leaking it. I had permission to show everyone it. I, I've talked about this before. That was a fucking baffling day. I went to a preview event for the co-op mode for Vampire Survivors, and I got pulled over by by one of the one of the people working there that day, and he was like, Just you, come over here. Here's Vampire Survivors Director's Cut. It has basically the next two years of probably content that will come to the game is just here. You can play it for like half an hour. You can record it if you want. You can tell people what you saw. No one else has seen it. Everyone else will leave this preview event and then you will go, all of you who were there, it was in the building. I saw I saw a shit ton of new vampire survivors and no one else saw it. And it was just over in the corner. Um, and I had to explain to people what I had seen while everyone else went, what are you on about? I was at that event. There was no, there was no new Vampire Survivors. I was like, mm, there fucking was. It was just over on a computer over there. Someone took me over and showed me it. It was such a weird fucking day. Bella Bean says, showing just one person to ensure no one believes you. I, I felt like, it, it felt like a prank on me. It felt like I was being gaslit. Like, it was a prank set up so I could be gaslit. So I could be like, no, I saw it. And they're like... Ah, surely someone else would have seen it. I have footage of it. Because 
they were all, the, the devs were getting asked about it and they were just ignoring it. They weren't acknowledging the question. So I was like, okay, I guess this is on me. <laughs> uh, it it was a whole it was a whole thing. Um, like a bunch of websites that reported on it talked it about it as if I'd like. I'd like hacked in and found a build I wasn't supposed to and was leaking it. And I was like, no, this is officially sanctioned, question mark. I don't understand. I can't tell you why I'm here. Alice Alankil, another showcase indeed. This one is 45 minutes of... Big budget, polished sort of studio indie titles. Your your sort of stuff in the realm of like your vampire survivors, your slay the spire, your dead cells, your maybe maybe Hollow Knight Silk Song, you know that that whole sort of kind of indie. Ah. Uh. Okay, we got like five minutes before this all kicks off. What do you think about those uh, leaks about Destiny 3? I'll be honest, I haven't fucking read them. I saw they existed. I saw people would people I know who, who report on Destiny were talking about the fact that there were Destiny 3 leaks. I just don't care about I I The only thing I know about Destiny is Destiny 2, I think, had a DLC called The Taken King. The titular Taken King is a trans man. And I played enough of of Destiny 2 to play the Taken King DLC to write for Polygon about uh, the Taken King and what the deal was with that. And I then never played any more Destiny ever again. Um, but I know Destiny exists. Um, Reed just says, really curious if we see anything from the Slay the Spire devs. I need a new game to put Thousand of Hours into. The Slay the Spire devs, I believe, are one of the, the studios putting this presentation together. So I imagine there's probably going to be something from them. Like, the fact that they're putting, they're one of the studios putting it together, I, it doesn't, like, guarantee they'll show something, but I'd imagine so. Um, ah. Oh. They let you edit your player character after you've made it now, following pushing for that feature by trans devs at Bungie. That's cool. That's nice. Um. Yeah, I really... <sighs> the more times this one message appears on screen, the more I'm like, either you got S Silk Song as your closer, and it's like Shadow Drop, it's out now, or... You are trolling people, and you are going to have so many disappointed little in, little nerds in your chat. It's it's a hell of a... If they don't have Silk Song, it's a hell of a call to start going, maybe we've got Silk Song to get people to watch your brand new showcase. Is that the plan for the AI? If, this, if it's not here, if Silk Song's not here today, is that the tactic I use for the Accessibility Summer Showcase this year? I go... Uh, I, I, I can't, I'm not telling you that Hollow Knight Silk Song won't be there. Make of that what you will. And let people build that up into uh, a big, uh, a big thing out of nowhere. And get themselves overexcited. Ugh, one sec. Ugh. Let's keep an eye. Has anything, does it seem like anything has sort of leaked out of this? Reply initiative stuff. Do, do, do. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to put a guess out. I'm going to put a guess here. Vampire survivors will have some kind of new free update or DLC available today. It'll either be one of those little adventure campaigns or it'll be like, it's a free update. It added, it added, um... Uh, collectible hats to the game. It'll be something stupid. It'll be like, it won't be anything big, but I think Vampire Survivors will have a... Like, the timing feels right. I could see a Vampire Survivors has new content in its today. I, I feel like the timing lands okay for that. Uh, Vampire Survivors devs mentioned Indie Collabs last year. We've seen one of them. They did an Among Us um, crossover. And genuinely, that Among Us crossover is one of the best bits of content available for Vampire Survivors. 
for my money, the Among Us DLC is the is the best of the three current paid DLCs for Vampire Survivors. It's mechanically fascinating. Um, Saint Nobody says, You should ask Team Cherry for a screenshot of their accessibility menu and show that during the showcase, mentioning nothing about other aspects of the game. Honestly, if... if We've not heard anything about um, Hollow Knight Silk Song before, you know, June. I might try for that. I would love to be like, Hollow Knight Silk Song, is it settings menu? Anyway, goodbye. And that's <laughs> that. That's me being like, Hollow Knight Silk Song showed up at the AO showcase. I could be, look. I I I managed to get on a not not Bloodborne legally distinct Bloodborne carts settings menu stuff. You know, I I could talk Team Cherry into. <laughs> Into that, probably. Do we know how long this is supposed to run? 45 minutes is what they originally said. Um, 45 minutes, no talking segments, no anything. It's just 45 minutes of trailer, 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 trailer. Is, is my understanding. Or at least that's how they pitched it. Um... People are losing their shit in the YouTube chat going, you keep teasing Silk Song, is it Silk Song? Silk Song's now the only thing that the YouTube chat's chat chatting about, it seems, which is fun. Uh Uh Dev interviews are divisive. I I get why no 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 one camera just trailers is a selling point. And they're well positioned to do it. Of anyone, they're pretty well positioned to do it. I hope they announce Silk Song is delayed again. I hope they announce that Silk Song is now uh it, it's mandatory you play as a trans character. Like something to really piss off the chuds. Okay, bunch of bunch of games just for us. World pr world premieres! First peaks, exclusive gameplay. And Stuff like that. A uh, silk, a uh, Hollow Knight Silk Song is a uh, Playdate exclusive. That's that's the announcement I want. Play Playdate exclusive. World premiere. Okay, this looks. This animation style tells me this is like this is probably Motion Twin. This is this is someone Dead Cells associated. This is the animators that they used for the Castlevania Dead Cells trailer. Rogue Legacy? Could it be Hades 2? Could it be Rogue Legacy? Oh, that's a Spire. That's Slay the Spire. Slay the Spire 2. Okay, yeah. Okay, whoever was asking for more Slay the Spire, um, uh, early access next year. Cool. That's conf that's happening. Okay, so that's their opener. My gut says, okay, I'm gonna put it here. They they want a big opener and a big closer. Slay the Spire is their opener. I think their closer is the Dead Cells Prince of Persia. I think that fairly welcome like sets expectation. No silk song and uh, no silk song. Is this the Dead Cells character but in 3D? Was was that the dead? The, maybe I was wrong. That looked like the. This is Risk of Rain, folks, but it looked like the Dead Cells character. Yeah, Risk. Oh, the, yeah, the prisoner. Okay, Dead Cells in Risk of Rain too. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I I wasn't wrong in thinking that's what that was. Oh, they they're. There's gonna be a lot of fucking flashing imaging Im images in this trailer, in this showcase, huh? They're really not shying away from 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 full screen flashes. That's kind of dis. It's kind of disappointing how how many of them there's been already. Okay, so big big sort of top down ish uh, s s uh, vampire derivery survivor like. Hey, Triple I Initiative. Um, reach out if you want 
advice on how to have a slightly more accessible showcase. Uh, if the White Thorn Games uh, or, you know, the AA Showcase can have, you know, accessible versions, you could probably do it too. I, I could help you get, you know, ASL, BSL audio descriptions and slightly fewer flashing lights next year. It's going real fast. There's very little time to breathe here. The city's got it all. Vamp Vampire Derivers, I took from Jane, but I think Jane got it from somewhere else. But I won't take credit for that. I, my wife Jane got me saying Vampire Derivers. kind of killer in town. The bullet might have come from across the street, but the gun came from under. Black market dealers are just like interesting art style on the faces here. Rock out, they go home. Nobody keeps better records than a crook. And killers always leave a Shadows of Doubt. Is this a known game, Casey? Find them before they kill again. Ooh. Hasn't been a thing for a while, apparently. Coming this year. Oh yeah, no, I think a little bit of fluff is kind of important for pacing on these. It gives you a second to internalize what you've just seen before more stuff happens. Uh, okay, here's our here's our mandatory Stardew Valley for the showcase. Every showcase needs a Stardew. Oh, it's my time at Sandrock. Uh, it's getting a cross-platform co-op. Th uh, this summer, was that? That title screen went away way too fast for me to read. I think it was cross-platform co-op coming to my time at Sandrock this summer. You've got to, you've got to hold on your, um... You've got to, you've got to hold on your end screens for a second or two. Establish a thriving village and keep it supplied as it grows. Construct fortification. Yeah, I my time at Porsche and my time at Sandrock just not games for me, but I know like Conrad really enjoyed them both. Um, more power to to the fans. Yeah, the the end cards need a second to breathe. Okay, I don't know what this is, but this is cool. Only the bravest leaders, the ones who can defend Medieval but dinosaurs. <laughs> This really feels like playing Command and Conquer Red Alert 2 with that secret campaign about the alien, the, the ants from space. Dino Lords is Dino Lords is a strong name. It's Age of Empires 2, but with dinosaurs, Talos Alankel. Exactly. Dino Lords is exactly what that game should be called. Oh, I like this character model. That's a, that's a nice, like, there's a lot of good frames of detail for such a small pixel sprite, that. Oh, I imagine we're Metroiding some Vanias. Upgrade tree? Yeah. Oh, the... The projectiles on that gun look really nice. That dash looks really satisfying. Oh. Gestalt, Steam, and Cinder. 21st of May. Don't know if we knew that already. That looks real nice. Okay, there's a demo for this already. Casey says it's good. Go try the demo. There we go, fin finally. You know what this means, chat? I'm gonna play through Vampire Survivors from the start yet again. Ooh, Castlevania! Konami 
he's really just handing the Castlevania license to any indie that wants it, huh? We got the Dead Cells Castlevania last year. Vampire Survivors Castlevania now, I'm guessing. Or is, is this Contra? Is this, is this Konami? Is this the Konami crossover with Vampire Survivors? Or something. What What is this? I swear it was that one guy from Fortnite. Yeah, this is looking... Yeah, I know that the... I'm not sure. What, oh, is this is this Metal Slug? Or something. What it... Or is this just... Is this very inspired by a lot of things that I... That it's reminding me of? Operation Guns Contra DLC coming 9th of May. Uh-huh. Cool. That actually... That genuinely looks really interesting. Give me weird Contra guns in my Vampire Survivors. Hell yeah. Also featuring Brad Fang from Contra Hardcore. You know, you know, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's... Vampire Survivors, your, your DLCs have been pretty good value for money and you've been you've done interesting things with other properties. Dust and dirt and grime with magic. I don't know what I'm looking at, but it looks cool. <laughs> yeah, real bad on keeping those end screens on screen long enough to read. Let me turn this up, because this, this, this is a quiet gentleman. specifically small. For the gods, I went completely in the other direction. I really wanted it to feel like you were up against something awesome. The look and of these enemies, like the the sort of the armored enemies, is making me think. Go uh, was it Godfall? The Platinum Games live service thing at the start of this gen. Was that Godfall? I'm most excited for players to experience a type of game and a type of world setting that we don't really see that much. Babylon that Fall. Really see that much That's it, Babylon, Babylon's Fall. World Premiere. Humble. Oh, Never Alone was that game with the the, the fox looking for the fox. Uh, was that the the fox and the fox babies? Was that Never Alone? Oh no! Oh, it is, yeah. Okay, I know which one this was. Never. Yeah, this was this was the. Um, ah, we're just making a straight sequel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took it took me a second to go. It's just the it's the Inuit one with the fox. Yeah. It was not always like this. Our empire was lost to centuries of mist. Did we overuse? Was that the a, zom a zombie plucked lives. chicken corpse? The okay, so it's a it's a base defense game. Began, but we've we like refuge on the peak, and we grew dis like destruction effects on the buildings and lots and lots of enemies on screen with a sort of painterly art style. Then, one night. Instead of yeah, not Helm's Deep. Came home. She bent the perilous to her will. With her we stood unbreakable. Oh, Cat Cataclysmo? Is that what that was called? Was there a date for it? I don't know. It moved way too fast. Take our hourglass, hero. If there was info on when I can get that, I didn't bring it. I didn't register it. And enter death's realm once again. Okay, we got another vampire deriver. It would seem. The pixel, the pixel art is real nice on it. You really think you can kill death hell? 
We don't have a string for him. <laughs> oh, this is very several other vampire derivers I've played in its UI. What kind of legend would it be that that's? It's it's Hades. It, yeah, it's it's a bit Hades. Well, it's clearly taking inspiration from Hades, like um, item select UI from the um, sort of thematic the narrative elements. It seems. I want to see Death's heart. It's, the music is very Hades. <laughs> Yeah, the, the gods are talking to you. Imagine if this is Hades 2 and it's like, oh, you know, we, we, we moved to a pixel art, art style and didn't, like, tell anyone. I wouldn't be opposed to that. That's so Hades. That's... Rise again, hero. That's so... This is that's so, like... That, that feels a little, like... Like, I don't want to say rip-off. That feels a little too heavily Hades-inspired. Disclaimer, uh, I think that said that was taken from an early build. Yeah, yeah like that that you. death animation was where I was like, oh, you've crossed the line into Survival. you've just made a Hades of your own, did you? I'm honestly really surprised to see something that derivative like that that blatantly derivative get get a spot in this. We live to expand. <laughs> That's triple I baby indeed, Cyborg Girl. We live to survive. Cool. I don't know the first game and nothing in that sold me on the second, but sure. Okay, this trailer's caught caught my ADHD's attention. We need more power. This is infinitely less interesting. Show me more of the, the billions of lasers in the in-engine stuff. We have to face the space combat. Yeah, no, that combat looked interesting. Show me that gameplay you were showing me a second ago. I don't need to see a, co a comic about discount Master Chief. I want to... This seems like, you, the start of this trailer, you really had me. You jumped straight in with really cool looking gameplay and now you've just kind of walked away? World premiere. Oh, is that it? We don't get to see more of that gameplay. Give me back the gameplay. The gameplay looked cool. Uh, I think the game is already out, so that's why. Well, even if the game's already out, the, the gameplay was the cool looking thing there. It, I mean, even if it's already out, a lot of people watching this are going to be like me, having not seen it before going, that game looks cool. Let me see more of that game. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, this game does look really familiar. That, that, Nostached protagonist in particular. It does look very Undermine. Undermine too. It has co-op, presumably. Yeah. That would be where I know it from. We're like 50% of the way in and I'm already exhausted. <laughs> I need a breather. I need a respite. Oh, is this from, is this the prison architect, folks? Look, I don't think the pacing is a, is like an entirely bad choice on this. I understand what they're going for. It's not a thousand percent for me, the pacing, but I can see how they're differentiating themselves. Oh, what the car? 
It's just an ordinary game. This is this is the new game from the What the Golf, What the Bat, folks. You play as a car with legs. I made another one, and I'm really excited about it. It looks so... It looks so stupid. It looks so ridiculous, and I... Been on Apple Arcade for years. Uh, I don't have an Apple device, so I haven't played it. It's new to me. Oh, it, it has no cohesion. It is all over the place. There was no attempt to, like, build, uh, like, a pacing and group similar things together. It is... Okay, there's a demo now. It's coming in September to Steam. Cool. Okay, um... Let's have a break. Oh, we're, we are having a break. We're, we're... Oh, yeah, like, that full screen flash was not needed in that transition. Like, you didn't need that full screen flash. Uh... Cool. I'm taking... Okay, we... It's not much of a break if you keep throwing visual information in my face. Like, give me a black screen Secrets and some quiet and for like 20 seconds. Give me like 20 seconds of quiet and not new input. Ah. Oh, the, my sensory the is the getting good. a little overwhelmed. But That's hey, Darkest Dungeon. Shadow. That was the break. That was the break. We had it. And in that nighted gloom. The Darkest Kingdom. Bridal Triumph. Okay. Is under siege. Decency must be defended. That art's looking real crisp. A real swish. Righteousness. Reinforced. I'm assuming this is just a direct sequel to Darkest Dungeon. Darkest Kingdom, it's a sequel. Darkest Dungeon 2 had been this rated must stand fast for consoles not long ago. Okay, maybe it is going to be called um, Darkest Dungeon 2. Why? Top left said Darkest Kingdom, and I assume that was the name. Or D Darkest Dungeon 2 DLC, The Darkest Kingdom. Uh, this squalid kingdom. These corrupted lands. Oh, Kingdoms is a game mode. They are yours now, and you are bound to them. Okay. Darkest Dungeon 2 has also been out for a while. I don't know. Hello, There's too I'm many Adam games. Noriega, I struggle to keep games. up with the, every video game. There's Latin too many America. of them. Growing up, we were heavily inspired by retro platformers, anime, and graffiti, and wanted to share all that love with the world with our own very first video game, Rakugaki. This is the first project we have created together as a okay. team, and we are very proud I like of those inspirations. Publishing and also included as part of Riot Games on the Represented Founders Program. Now, here's the first look. Okay, yeah, we're, we're continuing to stretch the definition of indie when your publisher is Riot Games, but, you know, that is, how do you define we indie? everything that made our city great. Our art, and even the people. Tell us a line kill says, can't believe I'm happy with the developer interview just to slow down for a second. Kind of agreed. But I know what I have to do. I mean, to be fair, it is, it is the, like, I, I appreciate there are publishers doing the, hey, your project that would otherwise be like an indie project uh, from whatever background will throw some money at your project and publish it. Resist. You know, problems with Riot Games specifically aside. I like this aesthetic. I need to see anything gameplay. Because like, I can't be excited for the vibe until I see how much does the game capture the vibe. A vibe like that, you can't trust a trailer to go, the vibe works in motion. Broken Roads is a post-apocalyptic, narrative-driven RPG set in Ugh. the desolate beauty of the vast Australian outback. To survive, you'll have to make tough choices guided by the moral compass an all-new alignment system that will test your worldview against nihilist, humanist, utilitarian, and Machiavellian ideas. Become a hired gun, a jackaroo. Those are the a four philosophical approaches. Crew. 
Those are the four kinds of thought you can have. Attribute bonuses, starting skills, and I don't know why that world. that morality wheel keeps me out as much as it does. With their own moral leaning and ideal outcome for the many challenges you'll face on your journey across Western Australia. Oh yeah, no, this very clearly wants to be Disco Elysium. It, it's it's not hiding that inspiration, and I mean more power to him. Disco Elysium ain't gonna be Disco Broken Elysium anytime Rose soon. Is available now. Uh. Avalon has been reduced to the shadow of a bygone age. Nightmares have breached the last standing bastion of reverie. The co op roguelike. Are you gonna show me gameplay, please? These evils. Come to me, friends. That's not enough to kill I mean, I do want more co op roguelikes. Raven's Watch, heed my call. I am Morgan for Avalon. And return my dear brother to his eternal rest. And visually, it looks nice. Raven's Watch. It's in early access. I okay. Menace lurks deep within the shadows. Early access major update, April twenty second. I think that was before it vanished instantly. Diane Wright says it feels like they have no confidence in the identity of the show. I mean. First year for a new showcase, I understand the urge to throw everything you can at it and to go, 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 establish ourselves, establish ourselves. But... I, it feels like gotta go fast is their identity. It's... We cannot stop for any reason fucking go. Oh, is this going to be a new cat quest? Yeah, that's the thing. I would... S oh, yeah, it's definitely a new cat quest. Uh, cat quest... Cat quest 3 coming this year. Already be announced, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of these games I would struggle to tell you anything about beyond... Here's what I saw. Uh... Their aesthetic. Uh, Saint Nobody says the aesthetic seems to be if you're not overstimulated, we're not going hard enough. Uh, yeah, I assume this was Hyper Light Breaker. Um. Yeah, like. And look, I, I'm not saying that the accessibility summer showcase is perfect, but it's possible to, to give it... Like, I'm looking at this. Most of these games have had about two minutes for a trailer. But the way that they're pacing everything around it is making it feel way more breakneck than it needs to. You can have a showcase with a more... controlled pace without really changing how long it actually is. I, I've come away with a degree of over oh, <laughs> game overstimulation. Uh, the, like in in you know your your summer games fest or whatever. At least there are moments where I can quickly look away from the screen to Google an interesting looking thing and put it on my wish list. There's not felt like a good moment to look away in this, for better or for worse.
Okay, it's it's one of them civ civilizations. I've heard of them before. Trials are upon us. Will we finally see one worthy of the chalice of immortality? I'd be cool with a wizard who could survive past the first round. This wizard wields fire arcana. Easy to learn, hard to master. Maybe the contest is finally heating up. This narration has the same vibe the as when a, a game's showcase does fake voice chat meets for a co-op game. Mm. Gameplay Lightning reveal. Gets me Do you know what I mean? Inside. Welcome to Deadsville. Population her. Oh my. It really feels like the. Any rules against and I'm talking no to a cuff. Wow, I guess that's happening. Incredible. The best I've seen yet. But to win, it will take a champion, a master. No. A legend. Well, that sure happened. Beloved school management sim heading to consoles. That camera took a second to work out what it was doing. That did not need to do as many, like perspective shifting shots as it did. Let's school. Oh, bro, bro Tato? That what, what this one was called? Bro Tato? Which I believe is already out, so I assume this is a uh, 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 update. Dizzy, what happened to you? Yeah, these look more like eggs than potatoes. Abyssal Terrors DLC plus Couch Co op update. Yes, we know we're watching the Triple I Initiative, don't worry. Uh, this is gonna be another crab's treasure. No, this is Tuchia? Which I think is already out. Oh, is this a switch port? This is a switch port of Tuchia. Cool. Um This, yeah. Re real interesting, real interesting game, this. Um Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Come on. Come on, YouTube. Really? Do I have to turn you down from 1080p? We'll, we'll turn you back up and then hit play. Sorry about this. Okay, it's playing again, so I could probably put it back to 1080p. Um, it's not the stream, this is just what happens in game. Uh, they listen to us wanting to take a little break. Look, I might just leave it for a second and let it try and get some, some 1080p. Um, YouTube has been real rough today. YouTube has been real rough today and I don't know why. I've, I've got zero drop frame, so it's not like an issue with my connection. My, the stream has been 100% stable. Come on, uh, play. What if I like rewind it a second and then... 1080p and then play. We good now? I feel like this is the one where it's important to have the 1080p feed because I don't want video compression on YouTube's end to be an issue for like, hey, the main reason you'd want to watch this trailer is to see whether it, like, the quality on Switch looks okay. Therefore, I should give that the best chance I can. There we go. 
June twenty seventh. Okay, it's it's a it's a neat game. It's well worth checking out. And if you couldn't check it out previously, it's now on Switch or it's coming to Switch. There we go. We got our little breather. Streets of Rogue 2 is a high-octane RPG sandbox set in a vast, randomly generated open world. With this ambitious sequel, our goal is to I don't want randomly generated worlds. I want experience ever. I want crafted worlds. Freedom of choice games made with intentional game design ultimate. choice. In Streets of Rogue 2, your ah. mission is to overthrow a corrupt president of a small country. Either solo or with friends via online co-op. I do like you overthrow the corrupt leader of a small country. Assemble a mercenary army and plan a coup. Stage a zombie virus outbreak. Or just chill out, build a farm, and totally ignore the main quest. Pick from a diverse roster of playable character classes, each with their own unique. Surely weird the main traits. quest should be good Take enough. Look at these the... glorious bastards. It's weird Hacker, that you would go. Chef, you cultist, you can just ignore the, the game if you ninja, want. Also, gorilla. It's a weird thing to practice. And uh, investment banker and many more. Be sneaky or go guns blazing or make others do your dirty work. Get inventive it really and feels like it's trying there to be a cure all in that like uh, a cure all cures nothing kind of way. Vast arsenal of weapons, gadgets, it, and it wants to be too many Machine games guns, at once, it feels rays, like. Bear traps, check. Supercars and speedboats, check. Boom Kitchen boxes, sink game, yeah, deals, I guess that's a good term. Summoning oak arena, uh, Necronomicon, uh, check, I guess. The huge procedurally generated map of Streets of Rogue 2 features multiple beautiful biomes. Bustling cities, serene countryside, mysterious caves, sunlit islands, creepy graveyards. You Explore this lively world. Why does this feel like it's the longest trailer we've seen all showcase? And it's just because the, the dev is being like, there's a beach and a graveyard and also other locations. <laughs> Now you could you could tell me I've seen this trailer earlier in the showcase and I would believe you. I I feel like we saw Okay, you know what the problem is? We saw the more interesting version of this earlier. We saw this but with dinosaurs. You you can't show me this but with dinosaurs and then expect me to get excited for not dinosaurs in it this time. Maybe it's okay. Oh, it's Pal World. Of course it's Pal World. Oh, sorry, the dinosaur game was an RTS, you're right, it wasn't a sieve. Did we not see a sieve? I swore we saw a sieve. Oh, that title, what what was even announced for Pal World there? Something about an arena? The, the, the end screen went away too fast to read. Not that I, oh yeah, we saw the, like, up in the mountain Tibet sieve. Against his law. Uh, okay, I guess PvP. I don't care about Pal World, but again, this showcase is like, Cutting off its type, its You're like end screens way too fast. It's not giving you any time to process that an end screen happened. Flee his fierce fire. Mend your wounds and I should have made a coffee to sip every time it says you're watching the Triple I Initiative. Should I, should I have a sip of my, my fluid every time it says the Triple I Initiative? We've only got like five minutes, five to ten minutes left. I could probably survive taking it, taking a little every every time. Manage that. Game, maybe you should see if they need a new editor. I know that there's a great um, showcase editor. You know, I, I've got recommendations. The rebellion has failed as you crumble into dust. Is quite it's quite aesthetic, if I do say so. Make haste to the gate. Uh. Look, I don't know how better to say it than I should take a sip of my fluid. I... Is that an incorrect way to say what I said? 
Immortals. Oh, didn't we know about this from ages ago? It's a 33 player co online co op roguelike. I feel like this. I know about this concept. I've. 33 Immortals. Yeah. Closed beta coming in May. I feel like this got announced ages ago and I was like, fantastic idea. I will never find people to play it with. Ladies and gentlemen. Xbox Showcase a few years ago. Okay. In a brave new world, anyone can be whoever they want to be. And nothing says you more than a can of healthy spinach. Spike D with its special secret ingredient. Is this going to be... Hit. Remember your five a day. Is this going to be a... Okay. Yeah, it's one of that list of games that's that's doing the what what if we were Steamboat Willie vibe. I've seen this on Twitter. Is this Is this one of the bad ones? One of the one of the ones that was trying to do the Steamboat Mickey thing turned out to have some ties to some Nazi shit or something. I don't know if it was that game. But I know that was a thing that happened to... Okay, that was a horror game. It was the... Oh, okay, it was the horror game one that had the Nazi shit going on. Okay, I'm glad that was the, the not bad one. But the problem is they all blur into my head. Every one of them is that game that's trying to be Steamboat Willie. Uh, this sure looks like Castlevania. Oh, this is what? V, v, um, v Rising? Yeah. I keep being told about this and I've never played it, but I keep being told to check it out. This is the most gameplay I've ever seen of V Rising. I know the name. As soon as, as, soon as someone said V, I was like, oh yeah, I know the name. I got to see. I've not seen any combat. I don't even know what the genre is. Is it a? Oh, you're a wolf. I was gonna say, is it a Castlevania? Is it a like a, a vampire deriver? Is it a rogue like? Oh, this Castlevania knockoff got the legal right to have a Castlevania character in it. That's impressive. It's impressive as an indie to make your knockoff of Castlevania and then get permission to put Castlevania in it. Okay, it's a survival game. Good, good on them, I guess. Well, well done getting the Castlevania people to let you have Castlevania in your not a legally distinct Castlevania. Okay, it's it, okay. It's don't starve, S. Really? We're approaching the end real quick. Evil Empire. Is this... Oh, is this going to be the Prince of Persia roguelike? This might be the last one. It might be that Prince of Pog P Persia roguelike. And if this is the last one, which I, I, I called at the start. When they opened um, with with um, Risk of Rain 2, I was like, yeah, Prince of Persia roguelike is the last one. They really were just trolling people with the Hollow Knight Silk Song repeated cheeses. Huh? That's a good way to get people to watch your showcase and then walk away really annoyed at your showcase. It does want to be the Hades... the Hades trailer, clearly. Yeah, there is... I, I don't know about... There, there's some choices about this animation in this trailer that I'm not sure about. I don't think we've seen Mega Crit. Dead Cells had a similar one, but like, there's something different about this. Also, like, if this is Prince of Persia... I don't know. The skin tone, and like, the, the very pink skin choices are, is an interesting choice. The, like, cartoonishly pink skin. That music's good. I'll give it that. That music's good, and that animation is looking nice and fluid. Wow. 
Is it meant to be purple skin? I guess. The Rogue Prince of Persia, yeah. This is the early this is the one that leaked. Yeah, they had that whole thing at the start going, oh, none of our things leaked. I'm like, yeah, but one of, one of them clearly like did leak though. Also, uh, fuck Ubisoft upper management for not protecting their workers. And that's the end. Yeah, they really fucking baiting. They really tried to pretend that they were gonna have Silk Song, didn't they, huh? Oh, it's being made by the de the uh, Dead Cells devs. So like, it's the, the the Dead Cells devs got the rights to use the Prince of Persia IP. It takes balls to go. What's the name of that uh, insect led roguelike? You know the one. What was that one called? Every three minutes for fifteen minutes as you lead up to your doesn't contain Silk Song Showcase. I, Hyro, I agree with you. Silk Song will get there when it gets there. I just find it fucking hilarious that they're doing... that they're sort of teasing as if it's going to... Like, no one forced them to pretend to go, Ooh, have we got Silk Song? Have we got Silk Song? Have we got Silk Song? What's that one? Ah... <sighs> Well, um, what's that message at the bottom? They're coming back with, like, gameplay and, like, uh, interviews and stuff, uh, shortly. Um, what did they say about Silk Song? Let me find the thing at the start they kept saying. The, the thing that, like, was setting the YouTube chat up in, up in arms, uh, let me find it. It's one of these little tips. Um, sorry about... What's the name of this highly anticipated Metroidvania with an insect again? It looks cool. Um, they showed that every few minutes for like 15 minutes before starting. And that definitely, like... I can see some people get... Look, I'm very much on the train of I think it's fucking hilarious when Silk Song doesn't show up at yet another thing. And I'm very much of the, it'll arrive when it arrives. That's a move. To to really sort of maybe imply you're gonna end on... Because here's the problem. Is you set expectations to go, it, it's now a possibility in my mind this might end with Silk Song, and then you're just building people up to be disappointed when the ending isn't Silk Song. Um... It sure is a choice. Uh, right, I know I usually try and stick around and chat after these kind of, um, you know, reaction showcase streams. I've got to go because I've got to go do the washing up and then have dinner and then probably be back in time for a, a Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth stream later tonight. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna go head off. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I will be back with uh, probably another stream tonight in a couple of hours, so look forward to that. Have a good rest of your day. I'm going to go play some Bellatro and have some dinner.